Two kickers, separated by nearly 1,200 miles, ran off the football field on Saturday as winners. In Worcester, at 4.31 p.m., true freshman Derek Ng lined up for the 45-yard overtime game winner against Yale. Ng nailed the kick to give Holy Cross the dramatic 31-28 win. Less than three hours later, at 7.10 p.m., Assumption graduate transfer Cole Tracy hit the game-winning field goal for LSU in their upset win over Auburn. A few hours later, the two kickers exchanged tweets. Their connection outside of being heroes on Saturday? First-year Holy Cross head coach Bob Chesney. He joins me right now in the PLN studio. Hi, Coach. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thanks, Morgan. Really appreciate the opportunity. Your former kicker from Assumption and your current freshman kicker both had games to remember. What was your reaction to the coincidence? <laughs> you know, I didn't, you, you were just watching, you know, we got done with our game. You don't really think of, of our game, as, you know, when you're involved in it, you think of it as a full team effort. So I think when we left that game, we thought our team did great. I was really happy for Derek to be able to hit the game winner with his family there. It was awesome. You know, and then we left, we we're at my house and then, you know, my little son came running out and said, Cole's about to kick the game winner. And we all ran inside and, and watched at the very end. And then 15 minutes later, Cole called me and, and said, uh, you know, did you see that? And uh, obviously we exchanged a lot of just excitement for him. And then I said, and by the way, Derek did the same over his Cole had actually spoken to Derek for, and they start to have conversations back and forth as well. Your senior quarterback, Jeff Wade, said on Monday that this really just shows that you know how to recruit kickers. What's your secret? <laughs> uh, you know, I think when you don't have one, you know, you really quickly realize how important they are when you spend a season without one. And I think, you know, I go back in time to 2000 when I started coaching. And I remember I was the coach of the, the kickers and the punters, and I knew absolutely nothing about kickers and punters. So I started to take a lot of time to study that and learn that myself. And then ever since then, it's been something that you think about the amount of yards that you can gain in a game with the punter, and also the amount of points you can gain with a great kicker. And that's not anything to sleep on. Looking back on Saturday, Yale called a timeout to ice Derek in overtime. You walked right over to him, pulled him in for a hug and said a few words. What did you tell him? Uh, so I told him, I said, look, man, it's not, it's really not, not a big deal. You know, we're in overtime at zero, zero, you know, or you hit this thing, we win. If you don't hit it, we'll go to overtime again and you'll hit it there. So just think positive thoughts release the negative because there's really nothing to worry about and just imagine everybody running off these sidelines to come out here and congratulate you on a game winning kick i said just keep it positive relax there's really no risk here at all there's no negatives that can come out your first win at holy cross is now in the books it was certainly a memorable one what moment stands out to you now as you reflect back on it there's a million things that that stand out in the course of that game. It's not any one play, but there's a lot of plays that had to be made with some pressure. And I think that these guys feel like they've been there before. You know, they stayed the course and they just believed in themselves and one another. And that's really the, the, the first step here. Coach, we appreciate the time. Thank you so much. And good luck this weekend against Dartmouth. All right. Thanks so much. I appreciate it.